As a child, I earned the nickname Worry Wart. My mother used to tell me I would give myself an ulcer because I caused myself such anxiety. I would play out worst case scenarios in my mind and ask myself questions like, what if my parents die? What if everyone in my class at school decides they don't like me? What if this rash on my arm is cancer? What if my little brother gets kidnapped? I would hold all of these fears inside. I was so afraid that my fears might be true, I would not vocalize or share them. The possibility that these horrible things could happen made it feel safer to avoid finding out the truth. When I was in the second grade, three students in my school class came down with the fungus ringworm. Two had it on their chin and one on her arm. They wore band-aids over the infected area and we were instructed to wash our hands frequently. Rumors about ringworms spread among the seven-year-olds. Stories were told of how under their band-aids, little worms were crawling underneath the skin and it made a sizzling sound when you touched the infected area. I had long blonde hair, which I loved. A classmate told me that if you were infected with ringworm on your scalp, you had to shave off all of your hair. Within a week, my fear of ringworm had grown to the point that I told a friend, I would rather die than get ringworm. For two months, I was obsessed with my fears of ringworm. I lost sleep. I would burst into tears often. I would feel an itch on my neck and run to the mirror to see the red mark caused by my itching the spot and just know I was going to die. I was miserable. My mother began to fear that something very traumatic and horrible had happened to me. She would try and ask me what was wrong, but I couldn't share my fear. I was too scared that what was in my head was true and didn't want it confirmed. The more I kept it inside, the more ferocious the fear became. Finally, one day after one of my crying episodes, which appeared to be for no reason, my mother sat me on her lap and told me I could not leave until I told her what was wrong. After several minutes, the words burst out, I'm afraid of getting ringworm, followed by a lot of tears. My sweet mother, stifling a smile and feeling a lot of relief, asked me if I knew what ringworm was. I told her all of the stories I had heard and created in my head. She took me to the school and together with my teacher, they told me the truth. Ringworm is a fungus. It causes itching and may sting a little. It can be contagious, but if you go to the doctor, he will give you some cream, and after a week or so, it goes away. The relief I felt in that moment cannot be described. I was set free by finally learning the truth. How often do we fear the truth, avoid it, deny it, or try to cover it up, causing ourselves anxiety and pain? Even if the truth is we need to change or repent, or that we are going to go through something challenging, when we face truth with faith and belief in the Lord, we are liberated and sustained. The truth is rarely as scary as what is in our heads. I imagine our Heavenly Father must smile and feel a little sad when we allow our fears to consume us and create misery, when if we would only ask and seek truth, He could help us find relief. The adversary, who is the father of all lies, uses the fear of truth to cause misery and to prevent us from progressing. Truth in all of its forms brings peace and growth. Being a seeker of truth brings us closer to Christ.